When deciding if you have a firewall issue on your computer, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a connection to the internet. To do so, open a web browser and just confirm that you have access to the internet by opening a few web pages. Everything seems to be loading properly here, so this computer is connected to the internet. Next, you're going to launch the software from the CD in your CD drive. Click on the icon as you see here, and the software should launch. This demonstration is being done on a Windows computer running Windows XP. There we have the software beginning to launch in the intro screen. Next we'll be brought to the sign-on screen. Here at the sign-on screen, if you're a new member, you're going to wait for the new member button to appear. There it is there, you see it in the fishbowl. Click on new member when you are a new member. The next screen you're brought to will ask you what your serial number is. Make sure to enter the valid serial number for your class here. If you enter an invalid serial number as shown here, the number will not be accepted and you'll be asked for another serial number. So let's enter a valid serial number. Now that we've entered a valid serial number, you should be able to press the enter key and be taken to the next step. If you're having a firewall issue, the next step may not appear here, meaning your firewall is blocking the next step from popping up on your screen. If your serial number is not accepted, you're going to want to exit the software by hitting the exit button and then selecting yes from the confirmation prompt that pops up. Next we're going to go to the Windows control panel. These instructions of course are for a Windows XP machine. Once you're brought to the control panel, I like to view things in what's called the classic view by clicking here. In the classic view, you'll see several icons. Look for Windows Firewall shown here and double click on it. The Windows Firewall will open and you can confirm here that your Windows Firewall is on by looking for this check. Next, click on the exceptions tab at the top that's shown here and we're going to add a new exception by clicking here. Since we're adding an exception for a new piece of software, we're going to need to click this Browse button shown towards the bottom here. And in the Browse window, we're going to navigate to the CD drive of the computer. For this computer, it's the D drive, and it's, you can see it says KY1CD on the label. Once your list of files shows up, you see one single file shown here. You can double click it hit OK, and now we have KY1CD showing in the exceptions list. Close the firewall and close your control panel and relaunch the software. Again, you'll be brought to a screen asking you to either log in or create a new member. Again, since we were not able to successfully create a new member before, we're going to again click on the new member button shown here. Go ahead and click on new member and it's going to ask for your serial number of your classroom. Enter a valid serial number here and now that our firewall has an exception created it should accept it and ask us to pick a username as shown here. Enter in a username for your classroom and choose a password. You'll need to type that password twice to confirm it. You must pick a unique username if you are not, you'll be shown this prompt showing someone already has that username. Try another one, where you'll be asked to type in another username. Let's try something else. We're now being told that username has been successfully created, and we're brought back to the login screen, where our username and password is already filled in for us. Click the Sign In button as shown, and you'll be brought into the software showing you all the different levels that you can now begin to complete. Let's try and log in and sync our software. You might need to do this procedure if you ever move to a new computer where you already have a username but you haven't created a firewall exception yet. We're going to log in as an existing user who has done several different levels already. 
So we've logged in successfully and we're shown the main menu. Now we get the screen saying we're waiting for the online sync to complete. Notice at the very bottom the white menu options, there are no green checks. Now the green checks appear after the sync has completed, showing that our software has updated from the online database and we're now up to date and synced.